Hello everyone, I'm Vice91 and welcome back for more Let's Play Tales of Zestiria. We're back here on Last and Bell because we're looking for some bandit kids or something. Because I'm still trying to tie up some side quests. So we're going to search for clues. For a little bit anyway. So hopefully we can find something. Ah, I do see something on the map. Let's see if I can get there. Actually, there's a couple things on the map. Uh... Let's go check this one out first. Here's a lady. The Roland's army has started cracking down on those bandit kids who've been attacking soldiers that fled the battlefield. I've heard they've even turned their hands to robbing coaches. I guess they had to turn their hand yeah, turn their hands? Turn their yeah. I guess they had it coming to them. Aren't they referring to the group of children we met back then? We should let them know. If the army is after them, they won't stand a chance. That's why I told them to stop. Alright. I'm get yeah, we gotta head up here. Of course. Because things happen up here. Actually, there's someone down here, too. Isn't there? No. It's just, like, a person. It's a point of interest detection. What? Seriously? I just got... Yeah. Oh my god. Give me the prompt. It's here. No, I don't want to speak. Alright, Rose, get out the way. There was like a check. Oh my god. Seriously? I'm not going crazy. I saw a speech bubble that said check. Are you freaking kidding me? Ah, uh, Just let me do it already. Or am I supposed to... Oh, uh, if I would just look the right direction. Anyway, Radish Bell. Yay. I didn't realize the camera orientation had anything to do with this, the fact that it would let you acknowledge the point. That was weird. Alright, so let's talk to this guy. The Valkyrie. Maltran. What? You know about Maltran? Even if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. I might. My name's Saray. He's the shepherd. <laughs> the shepherd? Very upfront. Truly, I do feel something special about you. I believe this man possesses some resonance, however slight it may be. But shepherd or no, no one has yet to believe a word I say. Well, let's hear it. It hurts when people don't believe you. I understand how that feels, but I found people who would listen to me and believe in me, and that saved me from the pain. My word. So please, tell us your story. Ten years ago or so, I served as a knight of Roland's in a conflict against the Kingdom of Highland. That is where I encountered her, Maltran, famed as the Blue Valkyrie. Before we could even react, in the blink of an eye, that lone woman had wiped out our entire unit. I turned tail and fled. I had no pride. I simply didn't want to die. As my cowardly legs carried me away, I glanced back at her. But she was being attacked by monsters, great lizards the size of men, wearing the armor of Highland. You could see that they were Hillians. Hillians! Yep. I swear that I saw them. Saw those beasts swarm over her as she fell. And yet, Maltran is still alive. I believe your story. Thank you. You do have the way of the shepherd about you. Show enough. <laughs> Please take this. And continue to care for the people, especially poor lost souls such as me. I will. Thank you. I love those, like, handoffs where there's obviously nothing in their hand, but we get something anyway. We got a rose corsage. Let's see what that's all about. A discreet, elegant adornment. Oh, it's an attachment. People of fine taste know how to wear it. Well, we are of fine taste. And that actually had nothing to do with the bandit kids. That was something totally different. But anyway, we're going to keep investigating about the kids. 
Now, that spot is still on the map, which is kind of bothering me. Oh, there's one. Okay, so... Is there... Yeah, there's somebody over here. Have you heard they've started arresting those bandit children that have been ambushing the stragglers? It sounds as though recently they've they've even been attacking transport carriages. With any luck, the crackdown should make the roads a bit safer. Well, yeah, you don't want to get robbed. No one wants to get robbed, right? Okay, so maybe there's something outside the city now for us to check out or something? I don't know. Now those bandits are robbing people in the forest. And it's not just soldiers they're after. A caravan got hit. Okay, so maybe we should go to... Uh, the colonel's been murdered, apparently the scattered bones that got her. Yeah, yeah, we know that. So maybe I should go to... Oh, what was that place? It's where Rose was considering setting up camp. Yeah, Mallory, the Patino Forest. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna run up there because I don't really want to save travel. So, I'll see you whenever I get up to Mallory. Alright, here we are in Mallory, the Patino Forest. I'm going to see if there's anything in particular. And now that I'm thinking about it, there are like rocks and stuff here, right? That we couldn't get past earlier, like a long time ago, but now that we have Edna's power, we can. Well, I can't get across that gap, but I'm pretty sure I can destroy those rocks now, right? Something like that. Or I'm not even sure if I had wind stepping when I was here first. I may have, but I honestly can't. Maybe not. What's that? Uh, Panacea bottle. Eh, whatever. I can't hold anymore. That's a bummer. Oh, a point of interest. Let's see if I can actually get this one. Another Panacea bottle. No, I don't want to fight y'all because you know. Okay. There's a point of interest here somewhere. Now I just have to hope to get it. Or get the prompt for it. If it's gonna let me. I have no idea what it is though. Oh god. Okay, well I don't want to waste too much time. Okay, so... Yeah, I can... Alright, I can destroy the rocks now. So... I guess I haven't been back here before. Here's the other rock I could break. But what I'm going to do is, since I don't want to waste too much of your time... Uh, resistant shoes, oh. Unique. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I don't want to waste too much of your time, but there's like a, probably a lot of stuff I haven't explored in this area yet, maybe. So I don't know if cutting, I don't know if it'd be very fluid cutting some stuff out, because I'd probably be getting back and forth and, I don't know. Let's take a look at, oh yeah, I already kind of tried to check that. Um, what I'm going to do is just cut in if I get any, like, treasures or anything like that, or if I find the next part of this story where the kids are robbing people in the forest or something so uh, that's what I'll do and I'll see you guys whenever something interesting happens all right here we go I'm thinking this is a new area because I had to blow up a rock to get here here's a new save point in the eastern area oh have I not fought these before are these new enemies for this area I don't think so but they're, they're level 28 but I'm getting like I got the dialogue from characters acting like we haven't fought these before, so maybe I haven't. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I saw a... what looked like a boss Hillian out in the distance past the save point, so it looks like this is where I need to be. Yeah, you see that, like, giant peacock. Okay. So let me grab this treasure chest with some cheesecake. And I am going to save before this fight, so let me do that. Okay, alright, so let's fight this giant peacock. Come at me, bro. Look at this thing. Man. Come on. King Peacock. Uh, level 34. Okay, so this should be a nice... A uh, little bit of a challenge. Resistant to Earth, so I may change Seraphs here. I may change to Miklio. Actually, yeah, let me do that. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, you're not Sometimes a very. Even sheep want their wool cut. Well, sheep are different. I'm sorry you can't really, um, or you're not a big fan of the beauty of a peacock, Edna, but, you know, I guess that doesn't surprise me. I guess you can't appreciate it, but, you know, she's, you know, it suits her personality to kind of rip on, uh, majestic creatures and stuff. Holy crap, that thing is strong. Nearly killed Saray, so I had to armatize there. But it's probably a better thing anyway, since it is... Well, it's not resistant to water. It's not weak to water, but it's not resistant to water. Alright, so this thing shouldn't take too much longer. It's almost dead. Alright, there it goes. How long have you known Dezel? Anomalous Orb got Peacock out of their zoo. Uh, Mikleo got to level up some equipment stuff. Did that have anything to do with anything, or was that just like kind of a random boss hillion? I think that was just kind of random. Valuable. Oh, feathers from the peacocks of Mallory, the Pisano Forest, their purpose is kept a secret from children. What? It's labeled as a valuable item. I just don't know what that is for. I have no idea. But we have a monolith back monolith? here. Uh, yeah, so grade. Defeating powerful enemies will give you a correspondingly high amount of grade. In particular, if you can defeat them without using items, your grade will go through the roof. It may sound like a challenge, but the reward is com commensurate with the effort. Now, it's obviously... Um, there's a point of interest back here, too. I don't understand how there's all these points of interest, but it's like not giving me prompts to see them or check them or anything I don't know I've probably missed a crap ton but anyway like I was saying it's kind of hard to see the the rewards for grade until I'm assuming the end of the game where there will be presumably a grade shop like there is in most tales game or all tales games whatever poison ward and I can't open that one yet because I don't have the gold key was that it right there No, I thought I saw something, okay. I guess not. Let's keep going this way though. Um, maybe there's something else back here. I may have to cut away and do a little more exploring to see if there's anything. Yeah, this is just a path back to where we were. So let me see if there's anything else here. Any other clues? Let me talk to Rose. Uh, I'm scared for that bandit gang. They're only kids. It doesn't look good for them. I think I need to go have a talk with them again. If it's no trouble, you mind accompany me to Volgren Forest? Oh, I'm in the wrong freaking forest, that's why. Oh dear. Dear me. Okay, so I need to go to Volgren Forest. Can't believe I was in the wrong forest. That makes a lot more sense though, because... That's where... Uh... Where is this save point? Seriously? <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look. Uh, travel to Volgren Forest. Um, man, I was right there. I just went out the wrong... I went the wrong direction. Uh, okay. We'll go here. So, sorry about that. Although, I am glad that there was at least a boss hillion in the Mallory. So, that makes me feel a little better. Why don't we double check the mural back at the hideout? I could do that. I may do that while I'm here, too. That may be actually nice. Kind of like a two birds, one stone thing. Because let's see where this this is. Oh, it's back there where the tentacle ruins are. Okay, nice. Because that's actually where the mur... Man, alright. Well, <laughs> uh, I got another little bit of a trek to go. So uh, I'll see you whenever I get there. Alright, we're coming up on these the star here. Oh, that's not good. Are they the kids, dead? The ones hunting soldiers. They're dead. Wow. Did the army do it? Doubtful. They wouldn't leave corpses in the open like this, nor would they go to such extremes. What the hell? Who else could it be? Uh, Thank goodness. One's still alive. Okay, what happened? We did what they asked. Why? Saray, watch out! Why did you kill them? Uh-oh, it's about to turn. Yep. Okay, so it turned into a giant dryad. A tree ant. 
Uh, level 40, holy crap. Okay, resistant to earth, water, and wind, so I'm probably going to switch back to uh, uh, Lila, actually. I'm probably going to steal Lila. So yeah, let me do that, and let me get out of the way. Alright, so let's keep a combo going for a little while. Ow! I was guarding. Jerk. Okay, jeez. Combo tree. Okay. I love how it can turn around in like an instant. And you can just break my combos, that's nice. Doesn't seem very fair. No, no. Oh, boy. Wow, did I just... No, I didn't. Hey, camera. Wow, what is it... Oh, like, it was guarding and I was doing... Basically zero. How am I doing so... What? Did it cast something on itself? Holy balls! Okay, so I need to watch out for guard decay. Jeez, that was insane. Little girl freaking means business. Guard decay again. Ouch. Alright, so this thing is like... Really not playing around. I mean, I'm around level 39, I think, with Saray. Level probably 37 to 38 with everyone else. But, you know, holy crap. Of course, uh, I gotta remember that I'm a little lacking in HP department. Ooh, let's block. Oh, yeah. She's dead. Well, is she alive now? God, that attack just is... Nonsense is just coming out of my mouth right now. I don't even know how to explain my feelings. It's not like I'm in high school. I don't know how to explain my feelings. I'm just a pile of nonsense right now. Oh, yep, that hurt. I know I'm staying armatized like this entire battle, and it's probably going to wreck my grade, I think, but... I really don't care. I need the extra HP from staying armatized. And actually... Yeah, I needed that. Okay, good. We did it. But... She was the only one we could save. Hey! Over there! Oh, he's still breathing! Whoa there, Mr. Shepard. What's going on? Oh, it's the dog. Oish, right? Oish! Perfect timing! We need help! Let's start with the treatment. Just leave the young'uns to me. Man. Neither of them have mortal injuries, but they're not waking up yet. Did our purification fail? No, it's more of a psychological kind of deal. What on earth could have happened to them? He... he beat us. Who? We did what we were told and lived as bandits. He? So you guys were hired by someone? Yeah. We weren't sure we wanted to keep hunting lone soldiers. Uh, then he told us there was an easier way to make money. We did what we were told and attacked the carrier. And he bought all the stolen freight for a high price. He even promised us that he'd hook us up with legit jobs soon after. Y'all are kids. What do you need legit jobs for? So who for? is this guy? I don't know. Our leader was the only one who talked to him. And I'm not that smart, but we believed in him because we always wanted to have honest jobs. So confused right now. But then he said he was going to destroy all the evidence and send a bunch of soldiers and killed everybody. It's messed up, man. Destroy all the evidence? Of we, what? We were so foolish. 
I've never been smart, but I'm so disappointed in myself. Please, avenge them. They took all our money, too. We only have this, but please. Iris gem. In Earth and Astoria. Don't worry. The scattered bones will see your request through. Rose. Okay. Man, alright. So, level ups for everyone, basically. Anomalous Orb. Uh, Rose learned a new art. Title proficiency. So and so, so and so. Alright, let's check out this Iris gem here. Ek. Many shepherds gather at the shrine of Maltellus. They celebrate a new shepherd. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Many shepherds? Let's just watch. That would be many shepherds. So it used to be like a brotherhood kind of deal? Are they getting married? Or is that just like, um... Oh, no, that's... that's. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was like a wedding thing. That looked like Lila. Looked a lot like what happened with Saray. Was that a marriage ceremony? Um, okay, maybe and I was there were right. A whole bunch of shepherds there too. It looked like it took place at the Shrine Church in Pendrago, and that was Maltellus's crest. Was his prime lord Maltellus? Uh, please excuse me for a moment. Uh oh, she took off. Almost like you were picking on her. We didn't mean for her to leave. I know. Well, judging from circumstantial evidence. I'd say there's a major chance that Maltellus is mixed up in this somehow. Yeah. For that many shepherds to exist at once, you'd need a power on par with the five lords. Yeah. But let's leave the speculation at that for now. So long as we're gabbing about it, Lila's stuck in there. Oops. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not going to talk to the kids because that's just going to depress me. Are you really going to take on his request? Yeah. I mean, I kind of already did. Huh. Are you sure this is okay? I hate to sound harsh, but those children were accomplices in a crime. Yeah, meaning in this case, the mercenaries punished the group of thieves who caused them all this trouble. But, I mean, those kids were just trying to survive. They knew they were doing a bad thing, and they were trying to break free of that vicious cycle. Someone took advantage of that and murdered them. What those kids did was wrong, but even so... The one who betrayed them was just as wrong. Yeah. Maybe, but... Sorry. I don't know the right answer to this. I'm not blaming you. I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. And it's not like it's just their problem. Huh? Just don't worry about it. Seriously. I'll totally do the detective work. If it's a Hellion thing, it's all you. Alright. Let's find out who's behind it all first. You got it. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I should ask Agil to look after these kids. Okay, so let me guess. Oh, we got Scattered Bones Mask. That's kind of neat. Uh, but we'll probably have to go talk to Agil. Actually, let's talk to Rose to see what she wants to do first. Uh, any news about whoever slaughtered those kids? We've got the whole team on the case. When did... When? When? When did you? That was five seconds ago. Something will turn up, I'm sure of it. For now, we just gotta wait. Okay, so I guess I gotta wait. Uh, okay. So it looks like most of this other stuff I can't really do. Uh, we can't, I guess we gotta wait on this. We can't go see Gramps yet. Uh, I still don't know what the deal is with, you know, the Turtles maps. Uh, can't go back to Lady Lake. Uh, the Malevolent Crucibles we know about, but uh, we haven't been completing... Well, we didn't complete the one for Lila, but, you know, that's probably going to be... Excuse me. That's probably going to be staying there just like it is. And then May, the whole thing with Maven a couple episodes ago was just weird. I, th I don't know what happened there. But I'm going to go back and look at the mural, which I think is all the way back here, right? Okay, so maybe it shouldn't take too long for me to run back here. I was just going to cut, but it shouldn't take too long to get back there. But I think we already kind of had somewhat of a direction to go to in case this doesn't tell us much. And actually, did this chest refill itself because of the Lord of the Land thing? Or was this chest even here before? 
Elven Crown. I don't know. Alright, so let's take a look at the mural. The mural. If this ruin dates from the temperance of Avarost, this is a huge find. No kidding. A mysterious ruin. Only mentioned in the celestial record once in passing. Uh, okay, I mean, we've been here before. Don't act like you haven't seen it before. On the map of Glenwood Continent, there are four X marks. One in the north part of Lake Haven Heights in the east, one in Afri's Hunting Ground, and another in Byrocliff Ridge, both near the west, the center of the continent. The last one in Westron Bolt Gorge toward the west. Okay. So, I guess, let's see, we'll need to get back to Highland. Oh yeah, because one of the trials is over in the Lake Haven area, right? Used to be that merchant guilds and government contractors and stuff would cross the border without much trouble, but their stupid wars gumming the whole thing up. I did hear rumors once, though, of a hidden route that bypasses the basin somewhere south of Volgren Forest. Might be worth a shot. Somewhere south of Volgren Forest. So... Alright, so I don't even know. I was, like, on cruise control in my mind. I wasn't even thinking. I went in the save menu and didn't want to, uh... I don't know. I didn't want to have any of that in there in the video. Anyway, uh, alright, so I know we were just in, like, Volgren Forest. I just wanted to see Lam Lamarack Cave. She said south of the Volgren Forest, so I guess I'll just head back out. It's gonna take me a while, but I don't want to pay for the save travel. Anyway, I think, uh, I'll just see you guys back in Volgren Forest once I figure out a hint of where we might need to go, so I'll see you when I get there. Alright, so I think this is where we need to be. Remember the first time we were in this forest right after we tried to fight Heldoff and things went south and Rose came to our rescue and we kind of met Rose? This is where we fell down. I'm pretty sure it was like really close to here. And so back behind here was a save point in this like creek, but the creek is impassable, apparently because you can't walk through water. But anyway, now that we have wind stepping, we can actually wind step across this rock and onto the other side. So I'm assuming this is where I need to go uh, in order to get to the destination. So I know we haven't been here yet, so this is a cave of some sort. But Lim oh, Lamorak Cave. Yeah, this is what this is what that save point was labeled as. So I'm thinking that we go through here and. There's a couple places to go, but this is kind of a large area, and, you know, we'll see what happens here, but uh, I'm going to leave that to next episode, so I'm probably going to call it quits right here for today, and next time we're going to go through Lamorak Cave, or Lamorak Cave, however you want to say it, I'll probably switch, I don't know, but anyway, that's what I'm going to do next time, so um, until then, you guys take care, and I will see y'all later for more Let's Play Tales of Hysteria.